SCA Minhag of the Week, Life Cycles. We've been talking about the Sebet and Pizmonim, and I've touched upon a lot of very important aspects, and a lot of questions have come back, so I hope to clarify everything in this episode. So in episode 187, I spoke about Yahidram, Yahidram being the Pizmon in our Pizmon book, Shirush Baha Halev Zimra, the Red Book, on page 238. Yahidram is the opening song. And I showed how to segue from there into various Pizmonim, depending on what the occasion is. Then in episode 190, spoke about Yahidram using it to deal with a wedding, or with a baby girl, or the Bar Mizvah, and how we have a compendium for each one of these occasions in this same melodic mode in what's known as Ma'am Bayat. Finally, in 193, I spoke about the top 14 songs. I didn't mention Yahidram because I already dedicated, you know, a special place to that in 187 and, and again in 190. So I got to those additional songs in 193. But don't think that that's it, We're limited to 14, 15 songs. We have this Pismon book, which has over 600 Pismonim, 600 Pismonim, um, all from our great Hachamim, our great poets. And why this book, people have asked. Because this book really is a true reflection of our community, of our style of Pismonim, written by the great Hacham Rafael Adis Antebi Tabush, and by his prize student, Hacham Moshe Ashar. These are our, our Pismonim. These are the Pismonim that we sing. And you go to any real Sabbath, growing up going to a real Sabbath, you had the feeling of Shabbat. And Pismonim enthusiasts would sit and sing for hours on end. And everybody knew a good Sabbath gave the feeling of Shabbat. Hence, if you think, go back to episode 169 where I talked about Sabbath and the name for a Sabbath and how people refer to it as a Shabbat. Okay, because it gives you the feeling of Shabbat. That's what the Sabbath is all about. Good food and good pismonim, together that gives you Shabbat. So there are many, many pismonim. Don't think that you can find to just those 14. But besides those 14, you have so many more to sing. And in each section of the book, we have different ma'amat, and we have different songs, different tunes, and each one is enjoyable for various reasons. Now, what else is going on in the Sabbat besides the Pismonim and the food? We mentioned that at the beginning of the Sabbat, usually after the first or second Pismon, Hacham is present, and Hacham will get up and speak. The Bre Torah, few minutes, three, four, five minutes, you know, connecting the happy occasion to an idea in the parasha of the week. And that's basically it. Otherwise, there's no talking going on in the Sabbath. Nowadays, we we'll see a new phenomenon that they stop the singing after a few songs, maybe even after an hour if they're pushing it, and they go into speeches, the friends talking about, about the happy couple or about whatever the occasion may be. This is a very different concept. And it may be nice... And the couple may enjoy it, but it's not what a Sabbath is. A Sabbath is about the Pismonim, about enjoying Shabbat, about praising Puri Ulam, thanking him with song. This is part of the Onig of Shabbat. This is something that we need to really uh, enrich our lives with, bring it back to our homes, bring it back to our families, and you'll see that the meaning of the Sabbath will carry on and linger for not just the hours of the Sabbath, but for the entire day, the entire week, and people will come back and talk, oh wow, I remember that Sabbath that you had, it was amazing, we had so much fun singing all those amazing songs. That's what the Sabbath's about. So let's bring back the real Sabbath, let's enjoy the Sabbath, the way it was, the way we had it for generations, and we'll bring it on to generations to come.